Hey everyone, welcome back to the Celestial Sisters Enchanted channel. I am going to be doing something a little bit different that I haven't did in a long, long time. I used to do the taroscopes and I'm like, you know what? Let's do a throwback to the taroscopes. I kind of miss them. I haven't did them in so long. <laughs> so what I'm going to do is use tarot and oracle and I'm going to mix them up together. And yeah, <laughs> that's what we're going to do. All right. First one we're going to be doing is Pisces. So Pisces, let's see what's going on with you. What do we have for Pisces? Let's see. Pisces. So it's going to be kind of a long video, guys. It's not going to be a short video. All right. Okay, Pisces, we have ooh, four swords, so it's telling you to take a break, take a rest, you know, try to get your health back. Uh, nine of Cups, abundance, so that's always good, you know, things are coming in abundance. And two of Cups, ooh, new relationships, new friendships, that's always good, a starting of a new relationship. Especially around the holidays. Yeah, sounds good to me. Uh, sit quietly and enjoy nature. There you have it. A little, little bit of chaos. Hey, what do you want? It's, it's the holidays, guys. And stay humble. All right, Pisces. There you have it. That's your Tarascope and Oracle. <laughs> All right, <clears throat> let's move on to Taurus. Oops, Taurus, this wants to come out. Let's see what we have for you, Taurus. All right, we'll pick one more card. Let's get you some Oracle cards. I don't know why I just missed these. They used to be so fun. I think it's because it was so lengthy that I don't do it as much. But hey, you know what? Can't always be short videos, right? Okay, Taurus, let's see what we have for you. All right, we have two of swords. It's telling you to take those blinders off and face the fear. You know, you can't hide forever. You got to take it off. Uh, the Hierophant, someone who is there in a time of need. Someone who is very wise and compassionate. Someone who's like a counselor. So. And Eight of Cups. Walking away from things that no longer serve you. And to go to a better place that will. <laughs> Alright. Ooh, you're going to be kind of chaotic too. So watch out. Uh, rise above it. Rise above everything that you're going through. And go out and have some fun. Go spend some time in nature. All right, Taurus, that's for you. I got to cross them off because, hey, face it, I'm getting old and I forget things. So, hey, yeah. All right, Cancer. What do we have for Cancer? Come on, Cancer. What do we have for you? This wants to come out. Oop. These two want to come out. Or three or four. Or whatever. Whatever comes out is what I pick. Alright. Let's see what we have for you, Cancer. What Terrascope do you have to tell Cancer right now? Oh, this one wants to come out at the bottom of the deck. Ooh. Okay, this one. And this one, too. Alright. This is for you, Cancer. We have five of cups. Stop thinking negative. Think more positive. Get those negative thoughts out of your mind. Five of swords. Taking a stand. Standing up for yourself is always good. Three of wads. 
three of wands. <laughs> uh, waiting for something that you really want. Four of wands. Time to celebrate for you too. And five of pentacles. Watch out. There might be a little bit of money problems going on. All right. Now we have someone is thinking about you. So that's always good. Why now? You know, sometimes we have to ask that question. Why now? Why is it happening to us right now at this particular moment? But don't give up. All right, Cancer, that was for you. All right, let's put these away and I'm going to be moving on to Gemini. Let's see, what do we have for Gemini? Gemini, Gemini, Gemini. Cats, it seems so weird doing these again. All right, Gemini. All right, let's get a couple of cards for you. All right. We have, ooh. A lot of messages coming in for you, whether they're text messages, mail, you know, just a lot of messages coming in. We have the Empress, which is nurturing, being that motherly person that you are, and King of Swords. Someone who gets to the heart of the matter of things, someone who stands up for themselves, someone who just doesn't take any bullshit, but leaves with a strong hand. Your oracle is, ooh, you got why now too. Uh, bloom and grow. And don't give up. All right. There you go, Gemini. Those were your, your taroscope. All right, now we move on to Leo. Okay, what's going on in Leo's life right now? Let's see, what is going on in Leo's life? Let's pick some. Let's get some Oracle cards. What is going on in Leo's life right now? Ah! All right, since these wanted to come out, we'll take this one and that one. <laughs> All right, Leah, let's see. Ten of Pentacles, security when it comes to money. So that is always good. You know, we need that around this time. Uh, the devil. Mm, maybe you are have too many obsessions, go into too many bad habits. You know, sometimes we have bad habits that we have to, like, you know, squash. And, but then we have the world, which is completion and sitting on top of the world after everything is said and done. And we have, have courage, courage, I should say. Change is good, which that is true, you know, change is awesome. I'm telling you not to give up. This guy's been coming up a lot. And bloom and grow too. All right, Leo, that was yours. Now we're going to move on to Sagittarius. Let's see what we have for Sagittarius. Let's see what's going on. Let's see. All right, let's pick some cards for you. Let's grab some Oracle cards. Let's rip or shuffle these. Because it's good to riffle or shuffle them every so often. But then you can't put them back in the deck. <laughs> oh. All right, here we go. After fighting with them. These are hard to riffle shuffle. I don't know why they just are. 
All right, let's see what we got for you, Sagittarius. All right, we have, ooh, the moon. A lot of mystery going on in your life, and it's telling you to pay attention to your dreams. You got the king of swords, too. That's basically telling you that you're very strong when you need to be. You stand up for yourself. And sometimes when something's going wrong, you try to get to the heart of the matter of it. And you got the world too. So that means that you completed things that you set out to complete, which is always good. All right, your oracle cards. We have... You're ha having a tower moment right now. So that's basically just saying that you feel like things are crashing down on you. But you do have a firm foundation to build up from. So keep that in mind. You got the why now. What? Why is it going on now? Why is this particular thing happening to me right at this second? But it's also telling you to listen to your heart. So whatever's going on, just listen to your heart. Your heart is always right. All right, Sagittarius, that was yours. We're going to be moving on to Aries. It's funny, I was cold and now I'm warm. I can't win. All right, let's see. What's going on in Sagittarius' life? Sagittarius, what's happening with you? All right, let's grab some of these. Always got to shuffle them. All right, let's see. All right, Aries. Is that what I'm on? Yeah. Okay, Aries. You have new beginnings coming your way. And it's going to be knowledgeable for you it's going to help you out so that's always good queen of Ro wands if i can spit that out today see it says rods on there and i want to say wands because it's actually queen of wands so i try to like i don't know <laughs> but anywho you are a strong person and you're very passionate and you lead with a strong hand uh, you have two of rods, which is two of wands. It's telling you that for some reason you're trying to set out on a path. You don't know which way you want to go right now, but you have to choose which way you want to go. Uh, it's telling you to stay positive, so that's always good. And it's saying that things are going to get a little bit chaotic for you. Only because it's the Christmas season. You know, it happens, you know. We all got to go through it. All right, we're done with Aries, and we're going to move on to Aquarius, which is my sign. So I'm kind of interested to see what this is. So let's see. What's happening in Aquarius? Oops, this one wants to come out. We'll take that one since it popped out. All right. Let's see. Get a couple more cards. Let's see what the oracle has to tell us. Let's see. One more shuffle, why not, right? Okay, let's see what we have for Aquarius out there. Ooh, the tower. <laughs> Well, things are going to come crashing down soon. But always remember, sometimes when things come crashing down and everything, it's not all that bad. Because think about it. If things just is not happening, you can build up from that. You know? You can build something better than what it was. So that's a positive thing to look forward to. Ten of Pentacles, security when it comes to money, so that's always good. And the Emperor, we are wise and compassionate people. And we leave with a strong hand also. We have tomorrow is another day, so that's always good because even though things are coming, you know, coming down, 
tomorrow is another day. We can start over. Your lucky day is today, so that's always good. And grow. So it's not all that bad. We are going to have some luck in there. All right. Now we are going on to Libra. Hold on, I got to take this sweater off. It's warm. I don't know why I did that because oh, I get warm, I get cold, I get warm, I get cold, I can't win. All right. Libra, what's going on in your life right now? Or what's going to happen, I should say? Going on, what's going to happen? All those fun things, right? All right, we'll pick three cards for you. Let's get some Oracle cards. All right, let's see what we got, Libra. We got, ooh, the chariot. Libra, you are going places very quickly, too. <laughs> so you're definitely going somewhere for the holiday. Two of rods, trying to pick a path. Maybe that's where you're going. You're trying to figure out where you want to go. Do I want to go here? Do I want to go there? You're not sure yet. And you're very passionate and you lead with a strong hand. So no matter where you're going, you're going to get there. All right. We got, it's telling you to grow, you know, learn, grow, grab some wisdom here and there, be kind and breathe. So wherever you're going, whatever you're doing, just breathe. All right, Libra, that was yours. We're going to move on to Virgo. What's happening in Virgo's world? If I can grab a hold of the cards. These little cards are hard sometimes. So, yeah. All right, what's happening in Virgo's world? All right. Let's grab you some uh, oracle cards. All right, Virgo, what's happening? We're getting there, guys. We only got about two more, I think. Virgo, two of cups. You are entering a new relationship, whether it's friends or... It could be a new relationship. Or it could be friends. doesn't have to be like a new, brand new relationship. Eight of Swords, you feel like you're stuck, that you're not moving anywhere, but it's all in your mind. You're not really stuck. You just feel like you are. And Six of Pentacles. The more you give, the more you will receive. So it's actually just telling you to pay it forward. Good things will happen here. Uh, risk. Oh, wait. Oh, rise above it. Uh, it's telling you, you got this. So whatever situation you're going through right now, you got this, Libra. It is Libra, right? Oh no, Virgo. Sorry, Virgo. <laughs> I did say Virgo in the beginning. At least I hope I did. All right, live for moments like these. And it's telling you to have faith. So have faith, Virgo. See, that's why sometimes I don't do it. I get confused on <laughs> which one I'm on. Uh, hey, you get a good chuckle out of it. We are in Scorpio now. <laughs> it's all for you Scorpios. What can I say? It sucks getting older, you know? Sometimes you just forget. <laughs> all right. Scorpio. Let's see what we got for Scorpio. Let's grab some Oracle cards for you. All right. Let's 
let's see what we got, Scorpio. All right, you have some messages coming in. Who knows, it could be Christmas cards. It could be somebody calling you for Christmas. So, yeah. New beginnings when it comes to money. It could be a new job, a new hobby that helps you out when it comes with money. Watch out because things might get a little bit tricky. <laughs> things might come crashing down on you. But on a good note, you can always build back up. So don't worry about that. Uh, don't sweat the small things in life. See, what did I say? Don't sweat it. You have... See, you did. You have the tower saying that you did have a tower moment. But everything is going to be okay. So it works out in the end, which is always good, Scorpio. That's what we want. You know, when we have tough times and everything, there's always a rainbow. Always a rainbow. So remember that. All right, now the last one we are going on to Capricorn. What's going to happen in Capricorn's life right now? With the holidays, with everything. So let's see. Capricorn. What do we got for you? All right. Let's get you some Oracle cards. All right, Capricorn, let's see what we have. All right, King of Pentacles. You're very practical when it comes to money. You get things done when you need to. You leave with a strong hand. So, yeah. And you're very good when it comes to financial situations. New beginnings. Actually, a new adventure, which is even better sometimes. You know, you're setting out, not knowing where you're going. But it's fun. It's exciting. It's new. You're going to be doing that alone. Because you have the hermit. Uh, it's telling you to be the change. So wherever you're going, just take it all in. Uh, you have listen to your heart. And break free from the chaos. Alright, there you have it, Capricorn. Well, I hope you guys enjoyed this Tarascope. It was a throwback because I haven't did these in so long. And I kind of miss them. I mean, I do get confused after a while if I do so many, but... Eventually, I figure out what I'm doing. So, <laughs> all right, guys, I hope you enjoy it. So, please give it a thumbs up. Don't forget to subscribe, be part of the family. And as always, thank you for watching. Bye. See you later.